everybody and welcome to my channel and if you are a returning uh, viewer, welcome back. Today's video is a little bit of a different one. Now I was actually planning on doing this regardless and then I just kept procrastinating. So I decided I'm gonna make this a video because I am sort of making something and I'll actually end up doing it. Today I'm actually planning on doing a little bit of sewing. So let's just dive straight into that. So the first thing I'm actually doing in this video is a little bit of an alteration. As you can see, I have this uh, dress here and I accidentally ordered it like two sizes way too big. <laughs> now I could have just returned it and got a different size, but that would have taken ages and I was kind of lazy and I decided I wasn't a huge fan of how the top in the dress looked anyways. So I actually had the idea to add a little bit of elastic and turn it into a skirt. This is actually a very, very simple and basic alteration. You pretty much just have to chop the top, the top part off the skirt and make sure you leave enough room for uh, some elastic. So what I'm actually doing is folding it over and leaving a wide enough gap for my elastic to fit through. And I am just sewing a little bit of a tube where I'm going to have the waist. So I'm actually using a sewing machine today because it is just so much quicker than hand sewing and it always turns out really nice and it's just simple and easy for me to use. I've actually owned this sewing machine for years now and it is pretty good. So now that we have folded the top part of this down, as you can see that the seam isn't perfect. I kind of, you know, didn't pin it or anything and the stitching's kind of wacky, but it works and you're not really going to notice too much. Now to fit the elastic through, usually I would use something like a safety pin so that I could pin it onto the elastic and then just uh, sort of put it through that tube that we made. I actually couldn't find a safety pin I had on hand, so of course I'm using a sim tool because that's a normal thing to do, right? But hey, it worked. <laughs> now once I got all of that through, I'm just sewing up that elastic so that it is nice and uh, secure. And then after this, I am sewing back over so that that opening is closed off. So here is me with the final result of this skirt and I actually really like it. Look at me outside in the sunshine. I actually really love the fabric of this with all of the little butterflies all over it. I just think it looks so cute and it reminds me of Animal Crossing. I actually don't really know what I'm doing but uh, let's do a little twirl, show it off. There you go. So my next sewing project is a little bit more complicated, but basically the same kind of thing. I wanted to alter this skirt here, which isn't a dress, it's actually a skirt, but there were a few problems that I had with this skirt. My main problem is I prefer elastic and this skirt unfortunately came with a zipper instead of elastic. It's actually a pretty high quality skirt and I love it a lot. However, uh, sometimes that, you know, non-stretchy fabric can just be a little bit uncomfortable, especially if I've eaten a large meal or maybe gained a few extra pounds or maybe I just want to, you know, stretch out a little bit more. The other problem is it is just a little bit too long for me. I kind of like my skirts a little bit shorter and not full length, but that is quite an easy fix. Now I had to be careful with this because I did not want to ruin the pockets on this skirt. As you can see, it actually has pockets and that is a rare thing with women's clothing. I have no idea why. But yeah, I basically removed the zipper. I unstitched all of the stitching around the zipper and then I sewed it up so that that zipper was gone. After this, I cut off the waistband of the skirt, as you can see. And because this skirt is almost a full circle skirt, if you cut off just a little bit of the waistband, the opening is much, much, much more wider. And then basically, I'm just doing the exact same thing as I did before with the elastic. I am trying to be a little bit more careful this time, just to try and keep it a little bit more neat. And I actually pinned it this time as well, because to be honest, uh, this one was a little bit more difficult because the fabric was not flat. After that, I did the exact same method with my, you know, pretend safety pin, my SIM tool, and I threaded it through the gap for the elastic. For the length of the elastic, I pretty much just measured it around my waist and made sure it was tight enough to hold up the clothing. And yeah, after I sewed that up, it was done. So here's the final results for this skirt. And as you can see, it is quite a full skirt. There wasn't too much of a change with the look of the skirt, except it is a little bit shorter now. And it's just so much more comfortable to wear. And yeah, here's me awkwardly showing it off. 
So now that we have two alterations out of the way, let's go into something a little bit more advanced and make something unique. I have this fabric here that I actually got from Spotlight a few months ago and I plan to make a skirt out of it and uh, I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I kind of just put it out of the way because I was way too busy making videos and stuff like that and uh, it kind of just sat on the sidelines for a little bit. So I'm actually really happy that I can actually do this today. Now with this skirt I'm not actually using any sort of pattern, I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. I do have a little bit of sewing knowledge. I've never made clothes before, but I have altered my own clothes a few times in the past. So how difficult could it be? Now with this skirt, I actually want to add pockets because pockets just make a piece of clothing so much better. If you are a woman, you will understand, probably. Seriously, pockets are so rare in our clothing. It is just so annoying. I don't know why that, you know, clothing companies don't just add pockets wherever they can. <laughs> But anyways, to make the pockets, I basically got two pieces of fabric per pocket and just cut it into a little bit of a D shape here. Trying my best to keep them sort of even shaped, but I'm not really using any measurements or anything, so yeah. After this, I'm pinning them to two uh, rectangle pieces of fabric that are going to be the front and the back of the skirt. So I have two pieces of pocket on either side of the skirt here and I'm just pinning them so that the fabric is facing each other, so the pattern's like on the inside. After this I'm sewing them down onto the fabric just along the edge of the pocket and this is going to connect it to the fabric. Now I did it this way so that the uh, pattern on the fabric of the skirt sort of doesn't change when the pocket goes over it, if that makes sense. And hopefully you won't even notice that there are pockets there because they're sort of going to be hidden in that seam. Now after I did that to all four pockets, I am uh, pinning it together again with the fabric uh, pattern facing in. And now I'm just sewing down around the outside of the shape. So down from the top of the skirt and then around the pocket. And then after this, I sort of go up halfway across the pocket so that part of it is open and part of it is closed. I can't, uh, you know, describe that as good as I wish I could. But after that, I sew completely down to the bottom so that the uh, skirt is fully connected on the sides. I kind of did a terrible job describing that, didn't I? <laughs> it's really hard to explain, but I'll see if I can find a reference image online somewhere that I can link in the description to show you what I mean. But yeah, after this, I added in the elastic in the exact same way as before. I'm not going to bore you with the details because I've already explained it multiple times. But uh, yeah, sew, pin, elastic, sew up. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. But yeah, I really love this fabric that I'm actually using today. I was looking on Spotlight because that's where I got it from. And when I saw that they had the Mr. Sparkle uh, Simpsons pattern, I just loved it. What a cool fabric to use for a skirt, don't you think? And yeah, once I uh, finished sewing that part and turned it right side out, I tested the pockets and they actually worked. I'm really surprised because they actually look really good and they are a good size and uh, yeah, they're actually hidden in the seams. So, you know, kudos to me for doing it right. Now, after I got that elastic finished, I actually tried on the skirt and realized I wasn't a huge fan of the shape. I was kind of limited with how much fabric I could use with the width of the fabric. And to be honest, I could have probably planned it a little bit better, but uh, you know, we're just going to move on from that. I actually looked up on the internet a way that you could add more fabric and more flow to a skirt. And I actually found some pretty convenient methods. So now I'm adding one what is called godets to a skirt. <laughs> this is basically a triangle of fabric as you can see and we are basically just cutting up the length of the skirt here and then we are adding both sides of that triangle to the section that we just cut and that basically just adds a little bit more fullness to the skirt without actually having any more width to where the waist is. So I pretty much just measured how long that random triangle is that I made and I made four of them and I basically just cut up the edge of the skirt 
pinned it to the right spots and then just sewed it in and it worked like a dream. And because the pattern of the fabric that I chose is quite chaotic and randomized and there's like some parts that are upside down and stuff like that, you can't even notice it too much, which I actually really like. So I added four of those, two to the front and two to the back of the skirt. And then after this, I hemmed the bottom and I pinned that up and sewed it so that, you know, the bottom isn't just raw fabric. And that is it. I'm actually very happy with the way that the look of this skirt turned out. It's not perfect. I probably could have, you know, picked some better spots to add the godets in, maybe more towards the side, but I love it. And so here is the final results for this video and this skirt actually turned out really nice. It's definitely not perfect, but for a piece of clothing that I have made for the first time ever without a pattern, I think it turned out pretty cute. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please hit that like button because it really helps me out as well as the subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Please comment below what you think and hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.